Yasser Hosseini. I live in New York. I work as an auto technician at a car dealership. Uh, I fix cars for a living. This is my first visit. I always wanted to come, but... <laughs> but after the tent of Muharram, I never even thought of coming here. Then my cousin Shabi told me that he's going to be coming. I was like, I want to go too, but I want to walk. And it just happened. The next morning I bought my tickets and here I am. It's like a dream come true. I did not expect this, the people. I expected it, but when you live in the West, you don't see this. You just see it in programs. You go for the programs, and the program finishes. I've lived in New York 25, 26 years, but I've lived in an Islamic country. I was born in an Islamic country, but I haven't lived in one for a long period of time. So I wanted to walk. Uh, it took us about 36 hours, a day and a half, to walk from Najaf to Karbala. We slept for three hours, and we got here late last night. My main goal was I wanted to, I actually didn't have any time to plan. It just happened quickly because once I bought the tickets and I bought the tickets like around 4 o'clock in the morning after my, uh, we decided I, decided I wanted to go. And then I just came, I packed one bag, I barely have any clothes. But when Abba Abdullah calls you, you have to go. <laughs> Quiet, except only my wife knows. The night I left, my daughter Zainab, she, she did not know I left. I told her I'm going to work. So, but in life you have to make time, some decisions. So, I kissed my son Mateen. I kissed my daughter and I told her I'm going to go to work. Uh, I went and hid inside the car so, so she doesn't see me. And, and I just left. Peaceful. Uh, you don't worry about anything you know when we are outside of this you're always in a rush to work and do etc but it's the calmness even though it's busy outside behind us you're calm when I was able to touch the, the day of, of Abdullah is, I just remembered because it happened like three hours ago as I touched it you know, I just, it was just, uh, how should I say it? I felt a sense of calmness. And I just let my hand go and I kept on looking. I was, I was getting pushed to the back, but in my heart, I was finally calm a little. Because when I left New York, I was like, even if I can't do anything else, I just want to touch it once. That's what my ultimate goal was, to just come here, at least touch it. Because I had heard stories, but, you know, of how busy it gets, I was... And a couple of people said, don't go, it'll be busy. But I was like, nah. When your heart tells you something, you have to do it. You know, even in my job, when I told them I had to leave, uh, they said, uh, are you sure? You know, Because Western, when they hear the name Iraq, they think it's unsafe. I was like, no, it's pretty quiet. It's safe over there. Uh, but they're like, you know, you take an extended time because I can't really take off. But for me, it was, I was like... The, they told me if it's religious, we, we can't stop you. I was like, I'm going whether you allow me or not. And they had no problem. They're like, go. Uh, we have, we're not going to stop you. And I showed them pictures of where I'm going. And actually, one of my uh, people that I work with texted me this morning. He's like, are you, did you arrive to your final destination? Because I had told them I'll leave on Friday morning and I'll get there hopefully by Saturday or Sunday. And I said, I'm here finally made it without any problems. So it's an experience that I will carry the rest of my life. Anybody who hasn't done it, who thinks it's hard, I don't think it's hard at all. If you have the will, if you just set your mind, it's, I find, it's, for once in your lifetime, you have to do this. Uh, it's, I can't, if somebody were to tell me to describe to them what happened, how it is, I can't really describe it because you have to be there, you have to see the people, you have to be with the rest of the Zawar to really understand understand it and I was using a video call my brother showing them 
And they're like, is there a lot of people? I was, I was like, there's a lot of people. I, I just, since it's my first time, I did not know how Karbala would hold all these people. Because it was, I mean, I don't know how many millions, but it's a lot. So it's, I would highly recommend anybody take this. It would be attractive if, if, if you show them that it's more, life is more about working and trying to make it, to be, have it more spiritual. Because most people in the world are very materialistic and all they care about is work and have enough money, to, and which is not bad, there's nothing wrong with it. But there's a whole other, that includes myself, everybody's like that. When I came here, I could not believe I'm here at first. But then you have to sometimes pinch yourself and say, am I really here? It didn't seem real, but then when I was in Najaf and I was like, you know, you, when you're a kid and you go to mosque and they talk about it, you hear, you hear the same stories. Stories don't change, but when you're actually here and you see it, you, know, you, you think about it that you're thousands of miles away from home, and it's a sense of calmness. It's hard to describe. If somebody were to ask you, you're asking me a question that's hard to describe to somebody how you what that dream is because it's something you could only look inside you and you can't take it out. Be thankful for what you have because a lot of people said, oh, they can't walk in. I saw a, num a few of them. You know, some came. I came with a little preparation. You know, there was a few I helped them out with stuff that I had that could help them. But life's not easy. There's a lot of difficulties in life, and you have to be able to. And this is a, this is a journey. We had a difficulties in our own group, but life is not easy. This a lot tests you, so you have to try to try your best. Uh, I think a lot more because if you could do this, you know. It, it mo inside it makes you stronger because many people can't and if you're able to do it, it doesn't mean you're special but you know Imam Hussain al -Islam did a, lo a lot he faced a lot this is nothing for us it should be, we should be do a hundred times more than what we can and life's not easy you'll have difficulties you'll have good days you'll have bad days but at the end of the day is life's a struggle and you have to try the best to move on and go from one day to another and if something good happens okay well if you fail in life which I have done a lot and which other people have done as well and it's a struggle you go from one day to another. If, if it was so easy everybody would do it uh, coming to Karbala even though this is a lot of people it's not easy for everybody to come so the ones who do come should cherish it and take as much as they can in before leaving because next week from now I'm just thinking about that right now well before actually I'll be back at my work and the dream would have finished that's a sad part, but in reality that it is. And, but inshallah, I'll be able to come again since I did my... I'll tell them the same thing, that if they're having hardships in their life, or they're always negative, and they're always... Like, the best like, advice I could give them is, go to Karbala once. You know, even people that don't believe it, they're not religious, I'm like, go there once. Coming here will change you. It's even if you're not religious. Most people aren't. There's nothing wrong with that. But when they come here, it's like an on and off switch. Once they enter the city, it's the spiritual kick, spirituality kicks in and you automatically feel it. So it's, it's hard for somebody, no matter how many times I tell them or someone, they have heard stories, but no, nobody could force them. Like, no one forced me to come walk. Nobody forced us. That's what the whole way I was thinking. Nobody forced us to walk. They could have taken a taxi. We were walking at 3 o'clock in the morning. It was freezing. Not freezing, but it was cold. But I was like, nobody forced us. It's the love that makes you go in. If somebody wants to, is having difficulty in their life or having hardship, just visit once, you know. You know, it's easier to come, you just hop on the plane and nobody's stopping you. So, it, I think that will help a person a lot, even in any situation, to visit here once in their lifetime. I definitely think so. I wish the Western media uh, uh, covered it more, uh, which they don't, sadly, which they don't because it doesn't, uh, they're not into this business, I mean, in, in stuff like this, but... Uh, I think, like, my job where I took off and my coworkers 
uh, asked me why I was going to Iraq because I told them and I had told them and I told them this is I'm going for Arba'in this and I actually had them Google search and I was like so, so people that were of different faiths who had no prior knowledge of uh, Karbala I didn't even mention Karbala I just said just Google Arba'in walk and they were like wow this is we never knew about this I was like because you only see one side of the story so if imagine if hundred times more people do that than they search the western because I come from the west if they do this I think it will uh, change a lot of people's views and so it would be very helpful I think I think it is now uh, a lot of there's a lot of uh, obviously there's a lot of Muslims in America I uh, people uh, think it's uh, America hates Muslims or this but I, I see it all the way around uh, I have never in the 25 26 years that I've lived there faced hardship because of my religion uh, I've I've gone to the extent the, the good thing now about now is because Americans actually know the difference between uh, different sects of Islam mm -hmm. uh, something which was not there 10 years ago or even five years ago it's uh, it's, it's uh, they, they did not know that they, they, they all thought Islam means one thing. This one kind of like, no, there's a big difference. And now, even the uh, anchors on TV know this, which is surprising. They, they've met, I've heard them mention this on TV. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a good thing. And I think in due time, because everything does take time, the perception will change. Obviously, there are some bad apples in, in any religion, but uh, I think in due time, they'll be more accepting than they are, not, uh, they are now. The thing that really uh, changed when I, it's when you're in a place that you've never been before and you visit for the first time, and you, but you hear stories, the stories don't change, but when you're actually there, everything comes to, it's like a videotape, all the years of listening to uh, scholars speak, you hear the stories, but you actually don't go through them. You don't see where it happened, how it happened, how it happened. And when you come here, you're like, oh, so now when I go back, inshallah, next Muharram, if I'm still alive, when the, they speak, I'll know that I, I was there uh, last year. And the video will play on its own in back of my mind. I'm actually thinking about that, thinking about this morning. I was like, what am I going to do next, sir? I mean, can I possibly come here again? You know, if Allah wills, inshallah, I will. Uh, but if I, I would, from now on, if I, anybody, if we go to next Muharram, inshallah, I'll tell my people, uh, friends at uh, Masjid, go for Arba'in. Uh, any, I'm sure any other time is uh, good, but I think Arba'in has a different feeling. It, when you see the crowds, that's what's, uh, because you don't believe it till you actually see it. And I honestly did not think there'll be millions of people. I have heard, but if you don't see something in your, with your real eyes, you won't believe it. And as soon as we started walking here, I was like, this is, has to be millions of people. I don't know how many, but uh, if, I would not be shocked if they tell me it's 30 to 40 million people here. Because we were walking day and night, and, and some people that we associated with, we were, we were, we were in Najaf with, they're like, it's, we, it's been like this for 10 days that people have been walking. So if we take that, the number of people we saw, yeah, it's incredible. It's, you won't see anything like this. Uh, I told my cousins downstairs before, I was like, this is New Year's, New Year's Eve in Times Square, times probably 100, because you don't see anything like this. I mean, times in New Year's Eve, everybody sees it on TV, but they should have a recording of what's going on behind me because you'll never see anything like this in, my lot, uh, on, uh, in your life again.